What's up everyone, this is Lot Talks Tech, and today I'm going to be talking about the rumors of the iPhone X Plus and also the iPhone SE 2. Let's get started. So I've actually been wanting to make these type of videos for a long time now, so I'm going to be making this video about the iPhone X and SE 2. So there are some pretty cool rumors I want to go over in this video. I'm also going to be making these videos more and more as time progresses and we get more information about these phones. But at the moment, we're only so limited on these rumors, but there are some pretty cool rumors about these phones. So there is rumor of an iPhone X Plus. The phone is going to be the same form factor of an iPhone Plus model, but it's also going to have the new iPhone 10 display with no home button and it's also going to have Face ID. So imagine an enlarged iPhone 10 the size of an iPhone Plus model. That's essentially what this is. Now things you can expect from this phone would most likely be a faster processor, probably an extra gigabyte of RAM. We will definitely most likely see a better battery in the phone just because it has a larger capacity and more space for the battery in this phone. And I really hope this phone becomes a reality. There's also rumor of an iPhone X model that's going to be cheaper. So it's going to be an entry level iPhone 10. It's going to be less than a thousand dollars. So that's all we know so far. And the way they're going to cut the price down is by using an LCD panel. Now the difference between an LCD panel and an OLED panel used on the current iPhone 10 is that an OLED panel actually turns off every single black pixel to get deeper blacks. But this LCD panel is not a joke at all. This LCD panel for the iPhone 10 is actually going to be pretty well made. It's going to have deeper blacks, so it's going to be a more advanced panel, or at least the same quality we see on the iPhone 8. So that's about all we have for those two phones. Now, talking about the iPhone SE 2. These rumors about this phone are so cool. So the rumors for the iPhone SE 2 state that the iPhone SE 2 is going to be having the same type of screen as the iPhone 10. So you're going to get that face ID notch at the top and you're also going to lose the home button which is going to give you a slightly larger screen. The price is also probably going to be lowered which is pretty cool to see. Now one of the problems this phone might face is it's still going to be slightly expensive. So in India this is one of the best selling iPhones. This is where Apple sells a lot of their iPhone SEs because they have a good market there. This is currently the cheapest iPhone at around $350. That's the current price. So people are hoping that the price is going to be dropped because in India the average smartphone user buys around a $250 phone. That's just what the statistics show. And if Apple lowered the price that would attract more users to buying their phone. So we're going to be seeing possibly an OLED screen on this phone and a true depth camera, which is really cool to see. And it's definitely not going to be a slow phone at all. So the current iPhone SE has an Apple A9 chip in it, which is the same chip used in the iPhone 6S and 6S Plus. But this new SE is rumored to have an A10 Fusion processor and also a 1700 milliamp battery. So this phone is going to be a smartphone killer. This thing is going to run unlike any other iPhone. It's going to be very fluid. It's definitely going to be very fast and you're going to get great battery life out of this thing. And like I mentioned earlier, we're also going to be seeing that edge to edge display. Now, one of the neat things we could be seeing in this phone is wireless charging. So in order to have wireless charging on a device, you most likely have to have the back panel on the phone be glass because the power won't go through the metal as well as it usually would with glass so we might see a design change on the phone as well. I am very very interested in seeing what this phone could look like because I personally love the design of the iPhone 5s and I just wish Apple kept it just because that is such a classic design. I love the way it looks. And to have a glass back on that thing would just be so awesome. I can't wait to see that phone. So I can't wait till all these phones drop. If they do, I'm most likely going to buy one if I save up enough. These phones are expensive. They're not cheap, except for the iPhone SE 2, which I'm really glad to see that Apple is offering for people who don't want to spend as much money on a phone. That's about it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to be making more of these videos, and as always, peace.